let us be in no doubt that we are in a constitutional crisis. As soon as the House expressed its opinion on no deal, the Government attempted to quash it. It is a crisis of unprecedented levels. Let us, as a House of Commons, work now to find a solution to deal with the crisis facing this country and the deep concerns that many people have for their livelihood, for their lives, their future, their jobs, their communities and their factories. Well, extremely chaotic times taking place in the UK. It really does seem like a very serious crisis in terms of Brexit at this point, because as the deadline gets closer, things just get more and more complicated. Just this week, a series of very crucial votes taking place at the House of Commons on Wednesday night, we saw MPs reject the possibility of leaving the European Union without a deal. And this, of course, became quite a significant vote uh, with Theresa May herself saying all of the previous options continue to be on the table. The legal default in UK and EU law remains that the UK will leave the EU without a deal unless... Unless, unless something else is agreed. The onus is now on every one of us in this House to find out what that is. Now, the reasoning for this is that despite the fact that MPs refuse to accept the idea of uh, leaving without a deal, the problem is that unless they find an alternative or a solution that everybody agrees to uh, within the next two weeks by the March 29th deadline, they will have to crash out of the European Union without a deal. That said, unless an extension is agreed on. And now we have a situation where Theresa May's deal uh, has been rejected, leaving without a deal has been rejected, and on Thursday night MPs will vote on whether or not to extend Article 50, whether or not to push back the Brexit deadline of March 29th. And the way things stand at this particular moment, all of the options still continue to be on the table, as bizarre as that sounds, because uh, there seems to be no compromise in terms of how to move forward. And another difficulty is that even if MPs vote for an extension of uh, the Brexit deadline, Brussels has made it clear they are quite frustrated with the situation. They want to see some kind of unified approach from London indicating exactly what they want out of Brexit. We have heard um, uh, Brussels say that uh, really all negotiations have already wrapped up, that the deal that had been presented and now rejected twice by uh, members of parliament was the best deal possible. So which way any of this is going to be moving forward continues to be anyone's guess. Our guests discussed the Brexit crisis laying the blame at the steps of Downing Street. The cabinet fighting like cats in a sack over this whole Brexit process. And now, basically, the centre of gravity, the centre of power has shifted. The Prime Minister is a dead woman walking. Many people are saying she will be gone before too long. There has to be an extension. I mean, even if they were, um, went ahead with Mrs May's plan, there isn't time to put in all the necessary legislation before the 29th of March. It's only a fortnight away. This is an extraordinary situation that the government has landed us in. I mean, the government have made the biggest mess uh, in history. We could have easily gone through Brexit. Uh, we, we could have agreed to, to leave on w, World Trade Organization terms. It wouldn't have been a problem. I think the House of Commons um, do not like her deal at all. It's worse than being in the European Union. And that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to make it look so bad that uh, we'll continue on in the European Union. Brexit Countdown on RT.